there has been an argument in the office for the past couple of weeks. Uh, Randolph Ramsey, in our uh, weekly meeting this morning, wanted to put an end to it. Okay. He wanted to know which is better, Forza or Project Cars. Yeah. Uh, you, so you guys are taking positions on this. You, yes. You seem to oh, have yeah. kind of strong opinions on, on both sides of well, the Well, I mean, it's an this. easy one. I mean, Forza <laughs> is like the clear winner in this particular matchup. You're a massive Forza fan. Yeah, that's true. I I'm, that. I'm a massive Project Cars fan. I mean, I like Project Cars a mm. lot. Because the great thing about Project Cars is it's on PlayStation 4. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and it's on PC. I play it on PC, yeah. Yeah, and Forza just isn't on those things. Um, and I don't know if I'd have an Xbox if it wasn't for Forza. I want to talk to you. Okay, Forza and you, first of all. The yeah. reason why you own the car you own now. It's a little bit because kind of Forza. Kind of connected to Forza? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I own a pretty badass car because of Forza. Okay, explain that I one. would say that. Well... I've always wanted a WRX, a Subaru, and yeah. so Forza just was like, yeah, you should get one, because why not? It's awesome. And so I got one with a really absurdly loud muffler and lowered <laughs> to the ground, and it's badass. <laughs> it makes the worst noises ever. Yeah. Uh, how does it look in the rain? Okay, so Forza, okay, so Drive Club still wins the rain debate. Does if it? If you want to get real gritty with it. It looks better? It just looks cool. But Forza's uh, rain play, like the actual feeling of the car, is great. I know at E3 it felt weird, because mm. I played that demo too, and I was like, this is way too much. But like, dude, the rain in in the actual game is really good, and like, you feel like you're on the edge of control the whole time, and then you slide out, but then you can actually like recover really easily using the controller. Which brings me to my point: the controller itself. This is point one, I guess. If we're gonna, if we're going, you know, <laughs> and comparing points, this directly to Project, yeah, Cars. Project Cars. Yeah, Project Cars. So, using an Xbox One controller, the game feels incredible, mm. even compared to Five. And I, I was thinking it was like in my own head. I think it, enough people have like agreed and confirmed that like the tweaks they've made to just make it feel great, the driving, the way you can cor- uh, like overcorrect and then like bring it back, mm. all with the thumbstick, just is incredible. And um, there isn't you can you can tweak the hell out of the controls in Project Cars, and you pretty much have to to even get it to feel good <laughs> at all. Like it, the default settings, even on the Xbox One. Uh, version of the game are just awful for playing on a controller. And you have to like tweak all the and they give it and like props to them. They give you everything. You can tweak everything in yeah. that game, which is cool as hell. You and you can like get all the settings and you bracket it all in and get it all dialed. And then it's like, yeah, it still feels okay. See, it's weird, right? Because I can't even argue that point because I play this game yeah, with a wheel a... Mm-hmm. and pedals, which is the way I love to play. Racing games. Yeah. Uh, well, that, so like, just, that better feedback, like that is like racing a car. Do you even have that option with something like Forza? You do, yeah, of course. I just have never done it because I just prefer the gamepad. I think it's... Forza I, is the only driving game I've ever played where I actually felt like the gamepad did a fantastic... Like I felt comfortable yeah. really driving with the game. Pad. Because like I play all the old F1 games and stuff and like playing those games with a pad just doesn't... For the type of driving you do and that sort of stuff, it doesn't work. And that's why I love... On Drive Club, like the amount of different disciplines that are in there and the different types of handling required. Like I'll be driving like a Formula A car, which is their sort of Formula One take. Um, are you talking got, about project cars? Sorry, project cars. Yeah, sorry, yeah. project cars. Um, <laughs> the, what the, did I say? Drive Club. Yeah, you said oh, God, Drive I'm Club. So sorry. Like, uh, the, all the go kart stuff. When that you're is really cool. The, I agree. It's incredible. And it feels totally Great. different. They're like they're uh, Formula uh, B cars. There, like all the supercars. Everything feels completely different. The feedback is different. The grip is different. Like I remember the first time I tried to drive a Formula A car. I went up through Formula C, Formula B, and I got to Formula A. And I was trying to like start on the line, my first race in Monza, and I like go into first gear and the car just goes nope and because I've got my foot to the pedal yeah. and pedal to the metal and it just goes. You have to like teach yourself how each one of these cars feels with uh, the steering wheel feedback. And I think it's like that's I've been enjoying Project Cars so much because and it's the thing I think that surprises me is Project Cars is a racing game that doesn't have a rewind function. Yeah. So you have to be really good at so it. So I love the rewind function. <laughs> because like, you know, you're playing a game. I'm I don't, can't be like. So yeah, the rewind function for it lets you. Once you mess up a little bit, you're able to go back in time a few seconds and, and make better choices, be yeah. a better driver. Yeah, because like you go into a turn and you want to be like, all right, I'm gonna late apex this and like <laughs> and see if that works out. And then like 
your ABS doesn't really catch and you just slide all the, and you just yeah. blow the turn. You're like, all right, we'll rewind. But it's like, I couldn't like play around with that sort of stuff in Project Cars. I felt like, although it is, that is an experience to be like completely concentrating so much in Project Cars. You're like, oh God, oh God, turn, turn, turn. But I was playing really conservative and like, I don't know. Looking at this footage, though, I'm like, yeah, this is pretty. This game is pretty good, actually. It looks gorgeous too. Yeah, no, and like the, the helmet thing. cam and stuff too in yes. Project Cars, I really like because yeah. it gives you the depth of field and it like gives you the view of the inside of the helmet, whereas like Forza doesn't really do that. Yeah, like I, not many driving games do that, where you actually yeah. see the helmet on your head. In fact, uh, Chris and the guys in Gamespot UK. Uh, did Oculus Rift on it, and apparently it's just insane because oh, you've yeah. just got your got your eyes sealed like this. You can kind of barely hear the engine as well. It's kind of muffled a little bit, mm -hmm. so you really feel like you're like stuck inside of the the engine uh, or so I not think, the engine in front of the wheel. I think that's a good. I think Project Cars does have like this edge when it comes to things like that, mm -hmm. like the fact that you're you're gonna put VR on if you want to. It's like their customization is just mm -hmm. insane. Um, the the different disciplines are all like it's it's like. It's pretty good. Yeah, feature I guess. set wise. Feature set. It's got a lot going on. Yeah, and it's all like dial in, dial in. And like, you want to do a race weekend, it's like you can qualify. Yeah. You can, you know, get your place in the starting grid. You can de decide you how practice. much fuel you can practice. It's like, you can, if you want, you can do like a Formula Formula. You can one, do like a 24 formula. hour thing. Yeah, Two. or you can do like an F1 race with like 60 cars. Oh man. Just to see what happens. <laughs> yeah, so it's like, they all crash. It's, it's cool, <laughs> but like, and I think that kind of gives it like this edge. Yeah. Oh, for me, as a casual player, someone who yeah. is definitely much more comfortable with Mario Kart than any of these really <laughs> hardcore games, Project Cars looks amazing. Like, I love looking at screenshots of this game. Like, it's just right. so realistic looking. Mm. And, and I think that stands out for just a lot of players, that you're able to get more out of a PC than you are out of any console. And it's going to look amazing on Yeah, that. and it certainly does stand out. But here's, but like saying that, mm. I think Forza is just like, it's the newest version, Forza 6, the cars all look just great. And the, the difference is, here's an example. Uh, in this clip, I'm driving an Alfa Romero 4C, mm. and this new track is amazing too. Uh, it looks really great. It's the one in Brazil, isn't it? Yeah, yeah the real gorgeous. track. And that's, a, like, I don't think Alfa Romeos are even in Project Cars. Mm. I don't think the new Nissan IDX cool track toy is in Project Cars. Like, I, uh, my Subarus aren't in Project Cars. Yeah. Uh, I could go on and on and on and on. Formula E There's, is in Forza. Yeah. And in Project Cars, it's all fake, unlicensed Formula A. It's like a made up thing, basically. It's F1. Yeah. So, like, yeah, you're right. Even, even there's Lotuses. There's I don't even F1 think there's Lotuses. Lamborghinis in yeah. Project Cars. And that matters to you, right? A little bit, because mm. I'm cause I come at it from. Like, I like Top Gear. I like them mm. doing weird stuff with really cool cars and. And they, or just the films they make about testing the cars. Car passion. Car passion. <laughs> Forza has got that shit down yeah. so well, and it's never been better because not only are you taking these cars out in the rain at night, it, they they feel better, they control better on the Xbox, they control great on the Xbox. There's just so many of them. It's so comprehensive. Mm. There's so many tracks now. Forza Five, that was a problem. There was like no fucking tracks. Yeah, that's true. Um, in six, they give you money. Like they just give you millions, <laughs> yes. millions like, of credits. We're sorry about Sports to Five. Yeah, they're like, remember how you had to work really hard for your Subaru BRZ? <laughs> sorry about that. Now you can buy like a million dollar car from the mm. first like wheel spin or whatever. So yeah, like I don't know. Forza Six just seems to be like this comprehensive package of serious car shit. Yeah. Like the tracks, the cars, the way it controls. It's all there and it's all ready to go. Mm. And it's like, yeah, you can't do a race weekend where you're qualifying, you know, running out your pit crew and your gas and yeah. like all that get intricate. That micro. It's not like, yeah, it's so intricate. This is just like, no, like get top three in this race and if you don't, restart, try again. It's like Andy feels the way about four to six as I do about project cars. It's just like a something about, and it kind of comes down to the yeah. Pro Ev versus FIFA thing we had last week where there's a certain element of like different strokes for different folks when it comes to car games, like how something feels is such like a really difficult thing to nail down, like why yeah. one game feels better than another. Well, um, I mean, so these are a lot of big points. If you were, who is this game for? Like, it, it sounds like they're almost for different people in some maybe, ways. And so, Project, so who is maybe, Project Cars for? Yeah, who is Forza Project for? Project Cars, Project Cars is, a game is for PS4 made, made, gamers. Well, no, Project, <laughs> <laughs> well, by default. Like, yeah, I mean, but Project Cars is a game that was developed by racing fa game fans. It's yeah. like a community, it's like an online shared, like they're, they're based in London, some of the team, um, but like, 
that was it was built by a group of people who just love card games and wanted to make a card game for themselves. Forza is obviously on the opposite end. It's this massive AAA thing. They've got the licenses, yeah. but it's also made by people who care about game, uh, yeah. cars. Mm -hmm. So I guess it's like one of them is made for the for me. One of them is made for the console crowd. One of them is made for the PC crowd. And one of them is more hardcore, and another one is just a bit more, I guess, polished or rounded. I'd say because Drive Club certainly is like has this like peaks and valleys. Yeah, I don't know about Drive. Pro project Cars. It's project Cars. <laughs> you keep oh, saying Drive Club. I don't like oh. Drive Club. <laughs> God damn it. This is uh, going to be a confusing I'm, video. I'm interested to hear what people in the comments think, though. Uh, you're still, yeah. your, your project car, I, your Forza I love Club. Forza. Like, I didn't think I was going to like Forza 6, right? Because yeah. I was like, well, it's just a few more cars and tracks. Like, whatever. <laughs> but, like, I don't know. They've just done enough that it's great. It's so good. And, like, Project Cars, I loved playing it in the summer because it was like, eh, there's no yeah. Forza game right now. <laughs> Although I was still playing Horizon 2, which is the best Forza game ever made. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, pro I like Project Cars, but I never felt comfortable. I was yeah. always like, I was, it was like, a, I was always felt like I was gonna crash the car, and then everything probably sucked. because you, and then were. Every, yeah, I was because I do, and then I hit restart <laughs> over like, and over with again. With Forza, even if you mess up a turn, blow a thing, it's like you rewind, and yeah. then you watch the replay, and it's all seamless. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you didn't do anything wrong, Excellent. and you, were, you you drifted your way to success. All right, you're still in the Forza camp. Hell I'm yeah. still in the Project Cars camp. Uh, I'm interested to hear uh, what you guys think uh, in the chat, though. Let us know. Are you uh, a... <laughs> actually, are you a Drive Club fan? Yeah, you just sorry. disagree with us completely. Uh, do you like Project Cards? Do you like Forza? Are you waiting for Gran Turismo? Uh, let us know in the comments below.